All right, all right, all right. What's up, Sim Race Alert? TJR Sim here. And today, we had a happy Thanksgiving, but uh, today I want to look at product, Acelith, that is. I hope I pronounced that right. Sorry, apologies if I did not. But uh, a couple of y'all actually pointed these out to me. Uh, Jane, on uh, one of my uh, Logitech RS uh, uh, track prep reviews or, or unboxings of just this wheel rim itself. And then Frank also uh, commented on here. Frank's a longtime uh, uh, supporter of the channel. Uh, but yes. I reached out to them and uh, lo and behold, uh, they agreed and they sent me one out to check out and review for y'all guys. So uh, let's get some unboxing here. Alrighty, so let's check this out. Aceleth unboxing. <laughs> this is a lap view unboxing here, will you? So it comes boxed. You didn't need to see the other box, but it was it was boxed in a box. Imagine that. So, ooh, nice. Sent me a couple of uh wow, a couple uh couple gloves here. Large and XL large here. EJR Sim. Now, this is a really cool thing they have on their website. I have to look at these first. <laughs> they have on their website they sell a bunch of gloves there as well. And I'd mentioned, ah, you know, purple ones would look pretty cool or red. And uh, you can actually get your name on there. So look at that. That is really cool. So TJR Sim here. Nice enough to put my name on it. That is badass. Let me try them on. All right. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fit good. They fit like a glove. Ha ha. All right. Oh, these are easy to get on. I like these. Easy to get on. And they feel nice. Little grip right here. So we'll do some uh, talking about the gloves as well. So Ace Lift Gloves. Custom uh, name on here. If you want your uh, racing name on here or your company or just your name or whoever uh, feel free you can add that a couple of extra coins for that one very nice aesthetic gloves they feel comfy very airy uh so the fabric in here is is uh kind of a much airier kind of breathable fabric here you can actually i have my windows open right now so you can actually feel the and the ceiling fans going yeah i can feel the wind kind of come through my gloves with just the ceiling fan on so that's really nice straps as far as getting in and out i like that a lot better way better than uh, my sparco gloves that i've been using a lot. Uh, these, if you looked at my review, were a pain in the butt to get on. Uh, I almost couldn't even get them on at first, but then they broke in over some time and then they fit really good now. However, these fit great out of the box. Uh, one thing that's usually weird about gloves that they never really get right is like either your thumb is too long or one of your one of your fingers is too long. Pinky is a little, a little long right there. So I'm just going to point that out to you. That is just, that's just life, guys. I mean, you, they, you can't always get them exactly perfect. I can go buy some expensive gloves in the department store and I will always have a little bit longer pinky on them. So that is not discrediting anything uh, with these gloves here. So yeah, very nice. I'm trying on the other one here. These are purple. I think they look pretty damn sweet actually. Excuse the language. I'm pretty stoked about these. See how they feel with on the rim. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Now I have my uh, ace or ace stick. <laughs> Sorry, I have my uh, some magic wheel here, and then of course I'm you know looking at the logic right now. But yeah, that's nice, very good. So that's some gloves for you. Very nice fabric, almost like sweat wicking. See the stitching and all that on here seems very durable, very quality, a nice quality glove here. This is really good. Nice Velcro here, not too. Uh, you know, crazy as far as crazy strong, but gets the job done. I like that. Time will tell uh, how well they last, of course. Uh, but, you know, and I'll update you along the way, probably in some of my other videos. Let's look at the red ones here real quick. So I've got some red ones here as well. I don't know if these, oh, these are labeled too. Sweet. TJR Sim. So, again, I had actually sent them my sizes and uh, I was probably in between sizes. So that was an extra large. This is a large. And actually, the large fits a little bit better, actually. Now, talk about the pinky. So maybe I was just oversized on my glove a little bit uh, with the extra large. So the pinky is perfect on here. This is a little snug. 
so we can match up on the pinky. This is a little snug, but that's going to break in. But uh, yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's pretty impressive, guys. So yeah, I do like these gloves. They're really nice. Not saying that just because they sent them out to me uh, to do a review or anything, because, you know, I, if you don't know anything about my channel, I don't I don't uh, let any of that affect me. I just give you my honest opinion. And this is my first look. I didn't open up this box beforehand, as you can see. And uh, yeah, just checking out the glove is really nice. We'll see how long this lasts. Got a little bit of a rubbery grip right here uh, with their logo. Some nice little touch there to, you know, take away some of the plain black here. Of course, you got your finger grips here as well. We'll see how long those last as well. Generally, this is a, a wear, gloves are wearable. So don't, uh, a wearable item, I, I would say. So don't uh, threat too much if you do wear out your glove. That just means you've been having fun for a while, right? All right, so let's get on to the uh, to the main event here. I'll put these gloves aside. Very nice. I will definitely be using those. All right, so here's the wheel. If you don't know anything about Ace Lift, uh, well, now you are. So they make a lot of wheels, a lot of wheel mods, that is, for a lot of uh, different uh, manufacturers. And, uh, you know, so, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, y'all reached out to me and said, hey, they got a new wheel mod for uh, for the Logitech Pro. And as most of y'all know, we've been starving to try to get a nice GT style, F1 style rim, right, for this. Now, I really like this rim. This rim is very comfortable, a rim to use. Works great. Actually, my favorite rim for the Logitech uh, setup. Up. So let's see what this bad boy is. And you can customize the way these look as well. They also make a lot of other things, a lot of sticker kits, full blown rims as well that they make. I can put up on the web on the uh, in the channel here. I'll link a link in the description here. Make sure I got everything out of here. Nicely wrapped as you can see. Got some stickers here as well, uh, so you can so you can add your stickers where you want them. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Nice. All right. So a carbon fiber. So it's a metal, all metal construction, right? No flets going on with this bad boy. All drilled out exactly the way you need it for your Logitech. And I'll, of course, put these together here in a little bit. So, yep, that is kind of how it's going to look on there as well. Just a pre-look at this, right? So, yeah, very nice. I like it. Uh, good, nice construction here. No burrs on here. Yeah, everything's nice around it. Edges, thick metal, probably five mil millimeters. Uh, they're metal. I'd have to measure it real quick to see. But got their uh, Acelith logo here as well. And you can get these in different colors, right? So uh, you can get them with red. You can get it just a pure carbon fiber. You can get this forged carbon fiber. This is a sticker now, a look on here. So a lot of choices here with a lot of different surrounding colors like blue, yellow, green, and so on. So looks really good. So the grips are a, basically a 3D printed grip, as you can see here. And of course, you got the screw holes going through front to back. I'm going to put it right side up here, front to back. So uh, there are that, you know, you do notice the screw holes, right? This grip's only $55. This is a very inexpensive rim to have as a secondary rim. Now, these are coated with a, a paint or a plastic type coating on here, and they feel very, uh, very rich feeling. They're very uh, grippy, but smooth at the same time. They, uh, let's see about flex here. So there's no flexing in this rim at all. You can see how it's clamped together with the, uh, the metal rim in between and the two grips on the sides of course joined together yeah very very you know stiff construction here there's going to be no flex in this bad boy which is really nice let me throw this up on the on the wheel here and then we'll have a, another look at that as well all right so i'll look at the specs real quick here so this is a 30.5 centimeter so 305 millimeter wheel so a little bit wider uh, hence being a little bit heavier as well because you got more metal in there uh this of course is is a 291 millimeter side to side as well so they are uniquely shaped different as you can tell here uh you know the logitech here rather on my left uh, reverse your right is uh more of a gt style um, a wheel and this one's more of a kind of an lmp style wheel have you so it's all closed in as well really cool though it does weigh a little bit 
bit more here. You know, 11, 11 Newton meters on the uh, on the Logitech Pro should even shouldn't even feel it. So let's put it up on the new wheel or on the uh, button box that is and check it out. See what it looks like it's out of the way. Boom! This is gonna look fancy, guys. Oh, fits like a glove, right? Well, that's nice. Cool. Has a little bit extra gap there in between parts here, just kind of prefabbing up a little bit looser consider you know then say the logitech is is has a little bit extra clearance here for space so it's one thing i noticed it's right off the bat but it does look clean these in here see what it looks like yeah feels so on I'll not need these three that you use on the logitech wheel because there's no places for them to screw into this this facelift wheel here itself I'll save them for later whenever you switch back and forth mold pattern seems to be perfect Alrighty, so got it all mounted up here you see what it looks like here i was just trying to see if there's any, any flex so when i grab wheel one way and the, and the button box another is it moving on each other no it's not it's actually extremely tight on there i don't seem like you would have any problems with not having these screws screwed into there if it bothered you i guess you could drill a hole through it through this wheel after all it'd be yours to do what you want and put a nut on that side or a nut on the other side but that'll look pretty shitty so but uh, i don't see any problem with that same here you're not utilizing the nut here on the bottom here as well although i don't see any problem with it actually it feels really nice so let me see compression wise good distance here on the on the wheel itself this is nice guys this is really nice so also has that nice cutout for your leds here uh so there is some extra gap there to make sure that you're seeing your leds going on there and next step is i'll mount my logitech back up here to the rig do some driving on it and then give you my final impressions of this but so far this is man this is really good thing for the buck i would say nice all right so let's take this up for a spin here of course, uh, mounting it all up here, you can see what it looks like. It looks pretty damn slick to me. It looks really slick to me uh, on here. The form, fit, and function is really nice on here. I love the forged carbon look here as well. I also like the actual, you know, the carbon fiber look as well. Uh, but this is a really nice touch. I think maybe, I like the red uh, striping as well. But I think with the Logitech theme, I would probably would have went with blue striping just to kind of match the blue buttons here. But it does have a nice contrast, and at least you can see what this looks like if you were, you know, thinking about going with, you know, say the uh, the red setup here, right? So it's really nice looking wheel. Feels nice and heavy duty. Like I said, this is more of an LMP style uh, rim itself. The grips are nice. Uh, I did hear some comments uh, or, or read some comments and uh, when I when someone introduced these to me in the in, on the channel here that there was a little bit of a pity that they have these screw holes here you know exposed to where you know maybe not look as elegant as it could I don't have any problem with it as well uh, with that you know being said the only thing I noticed gripping wise this and again, this is, you know, just my opinion is that I noticed this metal piece rubbing against my palm in this manner. So that's the only thing I noticed. So when you have it on here in a driving situation, you know, we'll see. I don't think I'll notice it too much, but just grabbing it, I, I distinctly noticed this metal here as well, which you don't have with, say, the Logitech. But again... It's, it's a $55 wheel, uh, so it's a very low price cost of entry alternative for the LMP style wheel. Now, if you use the gloves, which I will <laughs> use the uh, nice TJR Sim gloves here I got in red, uh, which is I uh, really appreciate them sending these out as well with my logo. This is pretty baller, I, uh, I would say. Uh, I'm looking forward to reviewing some more of their products. I'm not sure if they'll be willing to send me more of their products out in the future. Uh, but, you know, if they do, that would be awesome because uh, I think they got some really high quality stuff here. Now, I did do a measurement real quick here while I have this before I jump in the game. This is actually uh, three mil thick. I said five earlier, but it's measuring three millimeter thick, which is exactly the same thickness as the uh stock stock uh stock one as well so uh three mil thick is what it is <laughs> it's just some cheap calipers here that i have i laying around for just quick little uh checks on things i have some nice digital ones as well but my battery's dead on them so but yeah that's about it now we'll notice they got the nice cut out here for you to easily thumb through uh through here now that's a lot 
smaller cutout than what you got here on the Logitech here. So you're going to get some increased rigidity here, I feel. Well, it just just engineering wise, you get an increased rigidity here th through this. Uh, and then being that this wheel is covered in this plastic cover with, with the rubber over it, it does have a little bit more comfort level here and they are quite wide right here across the base just comparing it to the stock ones right uh, they're quite wide across the base where these are a little bit thinner uh, in comparison across the base here as you can see here so uh but it's still actually pretty dang thick to be honest uh this just has this bulge out here but keep that in mind i'm just pointing out the differences here whether you like this either one or not that's totally up to you but these are some of the differences I noticed. I actually appreciate the LMP style wheel. Uh, <laughs> LMP style wheels are my favorite where they're closed in like this. They feel really nice and they're more, uh, I don't know, robust feeling to me. So this feels nice. I like it. I'm gonna turn on the wheelbase again. Do some driving here, see what we got. The LED's nice working here, flashing now. They used to not do that. thanks for sticking here to the end here I want to cover a conclusion here on this asa lift sim racing uh wheel rim here this is a an additional rim lmp style rim that you can put to your logitech pro button box uh maintaining all the functionality of your logitech the bolt circle here is tight precise be sure not to over tighten your nuts here into your plastic base of the logitech here because they do get quite snug as you go in uh, whether you're using the stock one or or this one it doesn't matter this has nothing to do with the rim itself it's just you know there are threads right so uh but do be careful there is when you first put this on as you saw when i mounted it, it had a little bit of movement but once you snug these down perfect easy peasy um no flex in this at all, which is very important. Uh, drivability wise, it drives nice, even though I didn't drive very well uh, with with the uh, wheelbase on Forza. But yeah, I could see myself using, well, I will use this one for some long term use because I want to see uh, how it holds up in the future. And so I can do a long term uh, review on this product, say six months from now, let you know how it actually held up for the price this is 55 dollars um you know look at check out their website i i think this is a really good bargain here the stock one here is like 99 dollars uh for the stock which is you know not i don't know 79 dollars sorry 79 dollars on the stock so a little bit less expensive than that but the quality wise is equal in my opinion um with a little bit of kick up here with the acelith one because you have this ribbon that goes all the way across that encapsulates this led screen here that adds strength 
to it. Uh, it also adds some nice aesthetics uh, to this wheel, in my opinion. And then you also have the ribbon that goes around the uh, the uh, dolls here, where this one's just open space, right? Uh, so it does add some extra strength here as well. Now you do not utilize the extra, uh, get turned sideways, the extra uh, screws on these these uh, three points here like you do for the stock. So keep them so you don't lose them. If you ever want to put the stock one on or a round rim on here. Uh, switching it as you, as you kind of saw, uh, I didn't show the I guess the whole length, but five minutes. You know, you're <laughs> you're six screws off. You're five minutes. Really, no need to buy a separate button box to run this one, and unless you have you know a round rim that you want to use and this separately. I'm actually going to rock this one for a while, just like I said. I want to check the longevity of it for it as well. I already know how this works. This works good, but aesthetically, it's not as pleasing as this one here. And I really prefer LMP style rims now. What comfort wise we'll see how that goes now with the gloves like i mentioned you know this is thicker across this section here with the stock logitech this does add a little bit more comfort for sure no doubt about it a little bit more comfort it fills in the the uh texas hands of my of mine a little bit better here in the palm itself which i like uh this one is not uncomfortable at all it doesn't add that extra thickness on here that would be really cool if they added it another optional grip to add some extra thickness here as well but it does have some indentation here you can see where your fingers would go in and it has a little bit of bulge through here and then uh, it keeps that all the way down to the bottom right so it's just indented a little bit here for where your fingers go in now uh i do notice this metal you know the, the metal uh actual coming through here to the edge uh more so when i am barehanded without gloves not really at all with the gloves on uh, unless i'm just doing this I, of course i feel it when i'm doing this you can feel it going across i don't know how many people sit here and do this <laughs> but uh but you do feel that uh if, if it bothers you it looks kind of cool to me uh aesthetically uh because you do have this metal rim coming through these are basically you know 3d printed uh grips here with a coating on it the coating feels really nice and refined to me that's some nice indentions in this in this uh, handle here itself, that curve for your hand. So there is a nice comfort level here. There's nothing that's poking me in my hands at all. So there's no discomfort as far as that goes with your thumbs through here on your palms, you know, holding it. So yeah, it's, you know, comfort is important when you're doing some sim races, but especially for some long stints, um, I like it. Now you will notice here on the sticker kit here that they have, this is a sticker kit, forged carbon look here. They have little arrows already indicating here. I think that's a nice touch uh, to show what these functions are here. Not so much for someone sim races daily, uh, but I think it's a pretty cool touch. And then you got the little arrows here for your four way uh, switch showing you what it does. And then just everything outlined. It, it's a nice little touch there. You can get these of course in different colors. This one here is opted for red. You can do this in blue or black or yellow, green. Check out their website. I suggest pick the colors you want as well. So, but yeah, long term, we'll see how it does long term. Uh, out of the box for the price, $55 <laughs> with the kit is a really good deal. So uh, I like it. I'm going to run this for a while and I'll let you know here in, a, in a, you know six months from now, maybe three month review if I don't see any degradation for anything uh, ever even showing its head uh, but uh, then I may come back a little bit sooner but at least three month review before uh, before then so yeah this is really nice rim now uh, conclude conclusion now on the gloves themselves uh, these are very comfortable gloves they are airy let in a nice amount of air through here I think it's really cool that you can add your your name on here, your racing name on here. You, you want your iRacing name, which is your, your own name for iRacing, as you know. Uh, you can put there your team name or whatever you want. I mean, it's a nice touch for a couple extra dollars uh, to get that done. They fit really good. This is a large, I have some bigger hands here. When I measure across here, check out their measuring system here from palm to palm uh, and get it. It pretty much seems exact uh, for what it is. Now, this being a large, uh, my pinky is perfect on this one. It's a little bit snugger here and a little bit snugger 
uh, on these these two fingers here not, not so much on this one but they come all the way to the edges right so which is nice uh, i like it the the class and this is a large uh the clasp system here is nice to get them gloves on and off real easy velcro seems high quality i like it these are a 10 out of 10 for these gloves i really like them uh, we'll see how these hold up as well in the long run now as they have the two examples here red is on my hands and this is the like the purplish black which i, I like purple <laughs> uh but uh yeah, that's really cool looking i really like these these are an extra large uh, i can rock these too just fine they are a tad bit long longer like you saw in the unboxing where my pinky was a little bit out or a short shallow of the end of this which doesn't matter for sim racing uh, so much i'm always using these these two fingers here anyway not ever use using my pinky but that's just you know what i observed right but yeah really cool looking gloves i like them for the price of the gloves they're only 16 dollars for these gloves and you can get them in several colors red gray uh yellow purple i'm sorry this is the gray not the purple i don't know why i was saying purple oh because i'd asked for purple these are gray though so with gray uh avion uh which will look pretty cool the yellow they have and purple looks pretty well purple looks really cool i like purple uh i'm gonna have to order some purple from y'all <laughs> uh, and then white and blue as well so Alrighty, folks so as you can tell this is a different day then in my conclusion here got cut off at the end on my camera so uh as as in post right now i realized it and i uh, figured i'd finish this conclusion for you so as you can see, I have the uh, Acelith uh, Sim Racing website up here behind me. Uh, checking out the this uh, particular rim mod itself was actually a really treat. I liked it a lot. Uh, really love the options of being able to, you know, someone that coming out on the market that gives us more options to play our video games, right? Uh, so this is a very inexpensive option at $53. I got the price right this right this time. $16 for gloves. Gloves, as you know, the more you wear them, they will wear out over time. Uh, so I don't normally ever recommend anybody spending a lot of money on gloves because, you know, they're, they're a, a, a wear use item, right? Uh, so $16 another nine dollars to put your logo on there is a really good bargain considering how much some of the other gloves cost on the market so i will do a more of a long-term midterm review on it but right now out of the box uh, i i do not see any reason why you wouldn't want to get this wheel here uh this is the uh f30 as you can see the f30 rs uh for the Logi logitech rs hub that is as you saw you know some game gameplay with it using it had zero flex in it high quality uh, uh build extra extra basically uh ribbing you know across the top half here as you can see on the screen uh this extra metal here that is around the the dials here adds some more rigidity to the whole thing the only downside i think some people may see is these holes here aesthetically may not like those uh and that you know you do notice a little bit of the metal on the outside you feel it in your hands if you're to rub it across your hands or move your hands up and down on it a little bit however when i wear the gloves i don't even notice it's there uh, nor do i it never enters my mind again so those are only really two downsides i can see with this rim gloves i haven't seen any downside uh to them yet they actually work great uh time will tell how long they last i don't put a lot of emphasis on gloves especially you know gloves are inexpensive to buy and i wear them out over time because i play a lot right but if you are looking for a nice wheel to go with your logitech pro that is uh, to the uh, button box that you already have check them out it's actually really nice quality wheel as you can see and uh yeah i'm gonna uh rock this wheel for a while and and see how see how it works long term i expect it to never have any problems with it uh and we'll see if the coating stays on the on the on the uh, 3d printed handles long term uh, very well Keep in mind, your Logitech Pro puts out, you know, 11 newton meters of torque. This seems over-engineered for 11 newton meters of torque, in my opinion. So I don't think we'll have any problems with it. 
Hope you enjoyed the review and we will catch you next time on the track. I'm out.